Hi guys, it's Adam and today I have a charity shop haul for you. I went round um, a new area for charity shops today, so that was really, really good. Um, it's always weird when you go around a new area. T to me, I always seem to get a fairly decent haul or half decent haul. Um, I don't know whether that's the same for you guys, but I don't, I don't know what it is. Because I would have thought that there would be resellers picking that area already, so surely it's not going to be any different to whether i go to another area but it always is every time i go to a new area i get a decent haul um so yeah i got a decent haul it was okay not masses of quantity but i think some really good quality stuff you can be the judge of that yourselves but i do believe this to be good quality stuff um so first i picked up two snapbacks i paid i suppose you'd say i paid up on these uh two pound each I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking we have that look to them. This, surprisingly, is outside my comfort zone. I don't wear snapbacks myself. Um, it's just because I don't like the look of them, plain and simply. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I thought these were fairly good quality. So I'll pick these up, and there's that one as well. What does that say? Oakley. But, yeah, it has, it has things in the back. And there's the price, um... 199 if that'll show 199 um for both of those so, so it was 199 each um but yeah i think there could be some money in that i might be able to bundle the two up for 15 or something like that um but yeah i as i say i don't i'm not having those for my collection because i've got a snap back but I, i'm really not too much into them um so yeah they will be going on ebay um next is one of these, I wanted to pick these up for a while actually, um, and that was 120. I think I've, I don't think I've paid up for that, but they, they are the uh, one of the cartoon ties, and it's really, really good quality. I can feel the quality; it's so nice. Made by Picasso. Um, now I imagine that to be, I don't know. I'm guessing, but at least eight quid, if not like maybe eight to twelve quid it might even be more than that but yeah i'm hoping sort of eight to eight to ten at least um but yeah that was one pound twenty so i was happy with that it should go as a large letter i have sold the time in the past and it should go go as a large letter um but yeah that was just nice nice little find um next if i can get this out of here next is this thing is there anything else in there no um i picked this up i don't know about this one to be fair but the only reason i picked it up is it had this tag on it cotton traders and i know they're all right you know i know they're all right i'm trying to think what i'm what i was gonna say um yeah i know they're all right so i've seen them like in garden centers and things like that um and i paid 2.99 on that so three quid um yeah i don't know i mean it could be a 15 quid item thereabouts i've sold similar sort of bags and stuff and um and like coolers and loads of different sort of style bag type things for around the 10 15 quid so i don't know it might be a good 15 quid that um but anyway it's a bit of a punt i have to admit But that's the only way you learn in this game, really, by just feeling things out. Right, this was good. First charity shop I hit. Um, now, I didn't even research this. I just knew it's sealed media. Sealed media always does well. I mean, see, well, sealed, not sealed media. I mean, sealed video games always do well. Um, and it is sealed, brand new factory sealed. I don't know if you actually see the seal very well on there. But it's quite a, it's actually a really tight seal i've never seen a seal so tight that is like mega tight anyway um so yeah that was 199 uh, where is it there 199 um guitar hero aerosmith i don't know but i mean there might be some money on that on fba probably some money in it on ebay at, at two quid i was all over that so yeah i have no doubt there'll be some profit in that at least um, well, I'll do that bag last, I think. 
Was there not something else I had? I'm sure there was something else. Hmm. One second, I'm just thinking there might have been something else. Where's that? Go I'm sure they had something else. Anyway. Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking I had something else, but maybe it's... Is it in there? Is it in the back? Yeah, it's in the bag. It's in the bag. I thought I did. I thought I had something else. Um, this has a fairly good rank. Sells about six, seven times a month on Amazon. Um, and it is beyond the golden compass. I think it's about £5.50 on FBA. Probably wouldn't want to go much lower than that. Um, nowadays, because of fees and that. Um, I've just learnt that over the past few months with Amazon. Um, so yeah, that was alright. A little bit of sealed media. Um, Right, where can I put that? Down here, I think. Right, I got a big... I'll have to cart these up one by one, but, you know, they're just the standard stuff. So I was talking to someone in a charity shop, and um, my mum was with me, and basically I had a few Harry Potters in my hand, and I went to the till, and I said, do you have any more Harry Potters? Because, basically, here's a little tip for you, right? I was up the end, like, the, the back of the charity shop, and I always stand near the door, right, near the, the stockroom door. And I'm fl I was just flicking through the books, thinking, oh, right, yeah, Harry Potter's. And what happens is they usually open the door, and that gives me a little glance in. And in this particular charity shop, there was loads of books stacked up, like, right to the side of the door. So I knew that as soon as they opened that door, you know, I could see those books in all the glory. Um... And then this woman opened the door, saw the box, and I thought, wait, well, even loads more Harry Potters there. And there was like five on the shelf or something already. And I went up to the till and I said, look, I've got these Harry Potter books. Have you got any more? Um, and she said, no, I don't think we have. Uh, and then she said, but I'll check anyway, because some may have just come in or whatever. I've not been in the back for an hour. So she goes in the back. And she said, oh, you're in luck. So, loads have just come in. They've just been put on the shelf. And th those must have been the ones that I saw. So she brings out a big, massive stack. I don't know, seven or eight or whatever. Um, and then she says, oh, well, I'll check for doubles. And then, you know, you, I'll give you a full set. And I said, oh, no, no, I'll, I'll take the lot. I'll take the lot. And then it was getting to that awkward moment where it's like, oh, God, I, I have to say I'm a reseller or something. Um, so then I was just sort of fumbling around with the books and thinking oh god I've got to say something so that then she doesn't think I'm like weird or whatever um because I don't know she she was probably looking for an answer as to why I'm taking doubles of, of books and stuff but anyway my mum was behind me and she butted in and she said oh, oh he resells them and I was like oh god this could go badly now because if because some people in chat shops some workers they really dislike resellers and stuff um but anyway so she was fine with it she was like oh yeah that's great i think it's the fact i'm young you know the fact that it's like oh he's making a bit of money for himself reselling bits and bobs on ebay it's like very especially with the old women it's great being young young but i think when i get to about 30 35 i think then it'll start to be tail off and then they'll start like looking at you like a bit more with a bit more of a discerning impression or something, I don't know. But, um, yeah, maybe being young helped me. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'll get on with it. I'm just rambling now. Um, so i got, I don't know, two... I'll just quickly whack them out. So I've got two Chamber of Secrets paperback, two Prisoner of Az 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 Azkaban paperback, one... Actually, is that one? Yeah. Looks like... What, oh, no, I've got three Prisoner of Azkaban paperback. They're the ones that a lot of people say they can't find, but I find loads of them. Um, i got a Half-Blood Prince hardback. Quite a lot. This this all came to seven quid because she did me a deal on it as well, which was quite nice. Um, they were meant to be, like, a quid each or something, so it was a really good deal. Like, 50, the paperbacks were 50p each, and these were hardbacks, but all all in seven quid so that's quite good really good condition 
uh, Order of the Phoenix. That's the one I need to complete a set. So I've got a set now. I think it might actually have two sets. Um, I got a, I didn't really want this, but you know, I just threw it in on the deal anyway. Um, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, the um, adult cover. Don't particularly want that one because I never seem to find enough to get a full set, but anyway. Another Order of the Phoenix. Uh, this is one I need as well, but unfortunately it's not hardback, it's paperback, so a little bit annoyed at that, but still in fairly good condition. Quite a bit of a wear to that corner there, but I might have to flatten that out somehow. Um, yep, yeah, uh, Goblet of Fire and Deathly Hallows. Again, another one I'm, I'm sort of short of. I think I've only got one of them. So that's good, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. So yeah good haul of harry potters there i really really wanted some because i've got loads of them i've got about 35 books but i've not got a full set well i have now i've probably got two full sets now so really really happy with that um i might put them on now you know with all this harry potter craze but i'm just tempted to just throw them away for christmas you know get them out in november you know maybe october time yeah probably october time and just whack them on then you know keep stockpiling them until then um and, and just whack them all on them with all my other christmas stock but i don't know i might put one set on now you know just to catch the end of this harry potter craze but anyway um so yeah i will leave it there guys um because i've rambled enough during this video and i will see you in the next one. Oh, i wanted to say i don't know when we get to fourth quarter I don't know how much time I'll be able to dedicate to YouTube because especially with the level of inventory I've got at the moment, I imagine fourth quarter to be quite hectic and busy. So the videos might slow down. I'll try and do Thursday talks as a minimum, um, but there might not be as many haul videos because I might not have the time to, to set up my videos and edit them and all that just to do a haul video i might need to just literally crack on with listing because i'll be sat hopefully i'll be selling so much that i've got no time basically and that's what i want because then i know that things are really moving along and i'm making my money um so yeah I'm, i do apologize in advance if the videos do slow down but you never know might not so it, it just depends on when i can fit things in and how busy i am really but yeah, I will leave it there, guys, and I will see you very soon. Don't forget to comment down below any questions for Thursday Talks or otherwise. And don't forget to go down below to check out my Facebook page and the other links down below. Um, I think I'm approaching 100 likes on my Facebook page now. So really thanks for that because I really do appreciate it. Um, it I mean, it's just been growth upon growth with my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. So, yeah, I really appreciate that, and I will see you in the next one. Hi, guys. I know I just closed off the video, but um, I wanted to quickly show you this Nike bag. Um, I got this for £5. I forgot to show it previously, um, and I got this from the charity shops again. I paid £5 for it. Um, as I say, it's got these... Um, Nike tags on it's got something I don't know whether I'll be able to show you this down here or oh, I might not be able to show you it but there's basically it's got an official branded tag there um, so I think it is all kosher um, the stitching looks okay but I'm gonna put it in the um, real or fake Facebook group just so then I am sure but yeah, the stitching looks okay. As I say, the tag looks all authentic. It has numbers on it. It has the Nike tick. Um, so yeah, I will leave it there, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.